So the big launch for this year is the PCS system. Um, what is the PCS system? Uh, PCS stands for Professional Connection System and it's no, not it's site. not a dating site, no. Uh, it stands for a quick release system. Uh, we are launching the PCS Boom version first, and that is this little piece of beauty. When I joined Rycode about one and a half year ago, it was already there, upside down, looked very different. This is what it looks now. This is what we are launching at the moment. The PCS Boom comes with a milled anodized aluminum tip um, and this base which goes on top of your boom pole. It features a lockable 3A thread, so you don't harm your thread on your boom pole. Um, it doesn't require any lubricant. It is grease-free, you can uh, wash it even under your tap. It works perfectly fine the way it is. So, and even for a long, long time. And it, But that's no grease at all, so it's not like pre-greased and it's got a lifetime in it, it just doesn't need it. It just doesn't need it and will never need it. So, And because we call it Professional Connect and System, uh, there's more to come. But what we launched together with the Boom version is uh, are the, are the adapters, the Boom adapters, which uh, uh, go on the modular windshield kit or on the Cyclone. Uh, both of them feature an XLR holder and the XLR holder has a little raster here. So basically what happens, you can pull it down or unscrew that screw, rotate it to your preferred position and lock it again. So what, why I did that is um, I didn't want to have uh, the rotating mechanism being um, just by the locking screw over here. So um, yeah, this way you just basically hold it tight to the to the actual boss yeah but you can still uh, mount your your butt plug wherever you like yeah and because it's a because it has system in the in the name I'm presuming that there's more to come from this yeah but I learned my lesson from last IBC I didn't bring anything you can nick <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how tricky is it to develop a system like that? In my head, I think that's something you can knock up in a month. I bet in reality it takes forever and you're testing and testing and... Well, to be honest, uh, when, we, uh, when I joined Rycode, it was already an existing prototype. Um, but it took to now to finish it the way it looks now. But the most important part of it for me was uh, to test it properly because you never want to let down a sound mixer in the field. So we put a lot of effort, time and money into testing this little thingy. Um, so we created a lot of jigs, machines, I uh, went through a lot of different processes. One of my favorite machines was actually this one, which uh, showed the wear process or tested the wear process. So this is a bit like IKEA testing the seats on the chairs. Correct. Um, we basically calculated up how many times the sound mixer might lock and unlock uh, uh, one of the PCS per day on a film shoot on a standard version, and then uh, calculated that over ten years' time, which brought us to a number close to twelve and a half thousand cycles. And so we tested every single version of it with at least 12 and a half thousand cycles and the result of it is that actually it works better and can carry more load after 12 and a half thousand cycles because it grooves in over yeah. the time so it gets better over the time uh, but where was only one of it we uh, tested the max low we tested how it behaves when it's completely frozen so we dipped it into water and froze it and tried to uh, smack uh, the ice off and, and uh, hand warm it and it worked pretty fine actually after a couple of minutes only we uh, uh, digged it into sand into mud we put in in salt water we um, put it on top of a 520 boom pole and kicked it over and see what happens then of course the, the windshield was smashed and the microphone 
dummy was not so good anymore, but the thing still survived. And we tried to drop it onto concrete for up to 30 meters height. And yeah, so we are pretty confident that this uh, PCS is way up to the expectations and to the everyday demands of our customers in the field. So I envy you guys because you have a lab and you get to play with mud. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to break things. And we can build machines to break things. Absolutely.